Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I've decided to do a video on optic neuritis because I it seems the obvious thing to me to do because I had and still have problems with my eyes and I wanted to share optic neuritis and my experience with it because it was <laughs> sometimes I had optic neuritis and didn't even realize I had it and I'll explain what I mean about that later and sometimes my optic neuritis has been so painful that you know it's been unbearable um, so there have been differences in when I've had it and what I've experienced but I just want to talk about my experience with my optic neuritis and what happened and what I felt when I did feel something and then also um, what medication I was given because to my knowledge there isn't really anything that you can do about optic neuritis um, except take medication. I've had optic neuritis four times and I had it very early on into my diagnosis. It was around about 2010 and the first time that I had it, I didn't discover it because I had no pain at all. Um, when I was on my trial, we had to go in and have like monthly checkups to make sure that our eyes are okay, that we can walk a certain distance. And that's called the EDSS assessment. So they check everything and make sure that you're okay. And you also go in for bloods and urine samples as well. But whilst I was having my eyes checked out, my neurologist at the time, or Dr. Professor Robertson from Cardiff, I just wanted to get his name in there because he and his team are absolutely amazing and they've done so much for me and so much for others as well and still continue to. Anyway, back to the story. Um, they were checking my eyes out and they have to come right up close with a light and that was how he detected my optic neuritis because he saw that my optic nerve was inflamed. I didn't even feel anything. I had no pain. I had no vision loss. I had no blurred vision. I had nothing of the normal symptoms that you would expect to have with optic neuritis. So I think that because I wasn't in pain or anything, they actually just let it settle down and let it resolve itself. So to me, I just thought optic neuritis didn't hurt. I thought, well, okay, I've got it, but I haven't got any symptoms or anything like that. And then about another, I think it would have been another year into the trial, I remember going along and I was sitting with my one of my friends who'd came with me at the time. And I was a bit nervous as to what the EDSS assessment was going to pick up because actually I had had a problem with my eye. It wasn't painful this time, but I had like blurred vision in my left eye. I could still see properly, but there were patches of like blurriness in my vision. So if I looked at um, an item, it just looked patchy. Uh, and also what I recognise is that the colour didn't look right as well. So when my neurologist saw me that day, she told me that I'd had op optic neuritis and um, my optic nerve was very inflamed again. So for those of you who don't know what optic neuritis is, it's just when the optic nerve behind your eyeball is inflamed and it can distort the signals to your eye, like your vision, um, and it can cause a variety of problems. But as I said to you, my first a lot of optic neuritis, I didn't feel anything. When I was at the hospital the second time, again, it because I had no pain, they didn't warrant kind of giving me any medication or anything for it. And we just left it to resolve itself, which it did. And then the third time that I had optic neuritis, I had pain in my eyes like I've never felt before. I woke up with it. I couldn't move my eyes to the left or the right or up and down, but particularly to the left and right. It was really, really painful on movement. And I didn't have any other symptoms along with that. So I had, I still had full vision. Um, things were slightly blurred, but not to the point where it was enough to not be able to see anything or cause me an issue driving or anything like that. 
Um, the thing that I did find again was that I couldn't see particular colours like greens and reds and stuff like that and the colours were really darkened, kind of like almost washed out. So that was very painful and I remember going to my optician. Uh, normally here, if you have a problem with your eye, your optician will see you first and they carry out all the tests. Then if they spot that your optic neuro nerve is inflamed, they will send you to your hospital or your neurology team. So I was sent on to my neurology team and I was just monitored because actually what had happened is I'd never experienced this pain before. So I didn't know what it was and I'd left it and left it and left it and actually I was right at the end of the optic, neuro, optic nerve problem that I had. So they said that it was probably a little bit too late to catch so I didn't have any treatment. The fourth time that I've had it was actually not, not that long ago. Um, it was about two years ago. I had extremely painful eye movement again in the morning and because I'd already gone through this um, stage before I knew what it was straight away and I got seen straight away by the optician and they checked the optic nerve and it was really inflamed so I got sent straight to my medical team and I was checked over and assessed again and just made sure that you know that was what it was which it was, and um, I was prescribed steroids. I will put the name of the steroids up here so that you can see because I can't remember what they're called now, but I'll look that up. For anyone who hasn't had steroids, they can cause their own problems. So side effects like horrible metallic taste in your mouth. I actually was really, really um, nauseous on these and quite sick on these steroids as well and it was um, a dose of steroids for five days consecutively. I can't remember what the dosage was either, I'm afraid. The steroids unfortunately don't work straight away, which you think, you, you know, you're in so much pain and you get the steroids and you just think, oh, this is gonna be something that's gonna relieve the pain, but actually it probably takes about three days in my experience for the steroids to kick in. Um, and what I found with my optic neuritis as well is that I have it on the day and then it gradually gets worse over, I would say, like three to four days. It's at its peak after about a week and then it can take anywhere between two to four weeks for it to resolve. That's what my experience of optic neuritis is. But again, I just wanted to show, show you the extreme. So there's one end of the spectrum where I had it and I felt absolutely nothing. And then going up to the other end of the spectrum where it was so painful. And touch wood, I have not had a problem with optic neuritis since my last episode, which was two years ago. And I'm very aware of it and I'm conscious of kind of getting it again, it's quite painful, so try and steer clear of that. And I do take bilberry um, vitamins, which are known to be very good for retinal problems. So that's the vitamin that I take for my eyes, and that's the one that I know concentrates on the retina, whereas like the other um, tablets that I take, the omega, um, I can't speak, omega-3, and the fish oils, and I'll eat mackerel and everything, um, that's more for my dry eye. But that's just another story, because I could sit here and tell you about my dry eye and all the problems that that's caused me, but we're just focusing on optic neuritis for the time being. I don't really think that there was anything for me that I did to relieve the pain as such. The only thing that I can suggest that worked for me was that when my eyes were really, really sore and I couldn't move them back and forth, I would just sit with a like a hot flannel or something or something heated over my eyes, but just make sure that it's, you know, for your eyes specifically and make sure it's the right temperature if you're gonna do things like that. I'll put um, a link below in the description box about the rice baggies that I use and maybe that's something that you could use because the inflammation's there and I just 
felt for me that it just felt comfortable and made my eyes comfortable. But really for anything else, I can't think that there's too much that I did for my optic neuritis. I'm afraid apart from getting through it, suffering the pain and um, taking steroids that last time when they were given to me. And I think that that probably speeded up my recovery because I would see um, my optic neuritis probably continue for, for like sometimes a month with the pain. Um, but when I had the steroids, it, it did speed up the recovery time and it reduced the pain. The other thing I forgot to add as well is that my eyes become really, really sensitive to light. So that's another thing that you might notice. The one thing that they will do um, when you go into the opticians as well is they'll get you to cover one eye and they'll hold up a book which is also called something, I'll put it up here because I've forgotten, um, and it's a book of numbers basically and colours so that you can they can see whether you can make these colours out and generally if you can't make the colours out it kind of gives an indication that the optic nerve is inflamed and it could potentially be an optic nerve problem. But yeah, if you have anything like that, any light sensitive problems, problems with movement, definitely get down to your opticians or your GP or whoever it is that you would go and see because it's something just to be aware of and always get your eyes checked out because we need to keep our eyes healthy. Um, I don't really think there's too much more to add to this, so I'm going to end it here. As I said, I hope that you're all, all keeping well, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, take care, bye.